Welcome to Contacts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the cash received from customers. We're going to explain what it is and go through an example of calculating the cash received from customers. So what is this? Well, this is all the cash that has actually been received from customers to whom we sold inventory or provided a service in our ordinary course of business so it's money that has been received from customers remember when you make a sale it's not necessarily that the sales amount is the actual cash received from customers you may have sold on credit and you may have people who owed money to the company because you sold to them at the beginning of the period and you may still have people owing at the end of the period so we are calculating how much we actually receive from our customers this is recorded in the cash flow statement using the direct method under the operating activities section. So probably the reason you're checking this one out is because you're probably doing the cash flow statement using the direct method. So how are we going to calculate the cash received from customers? Well, here is the formula that we're going to use. We take the sales amount for this period. We add the accounts receivable at the beginning of the period then we deduct the accounts receivable at the end of the period and that is what we do we're taking the sales which is found in the statement of comprehensive income or the income statement we add the accounts receivable at the beginning of the period which is found in the statement of financial position or the balance sheet and we deduct the accounts receivable at the end of the period which is found in the statement of financial position as well or the balance sheet so let's go through an example in calculating the cash received from customers here is an example we are given the statement of financial position as a 28 february 2021 and we're also given the comparative year 2020 and then we're also given the statement of comprehensive income for the year ended 2021 so now let's calculate the cash received from customers let's bring up our formula once again it's the sales plus accounts receivable at the beginning of the period minus the accounts receivable at the end of the period now what is our sales amount well obviously statement of comprehensive income the very first line item is sales or revenue so if it's written sales or revenue it's the same thing we're going to take that amount six hundred and seventy thousand rand so i'm going to put six hundred and seventy thousand rand there right and then we add accounts receivable at the beginning of the period now we know our most current period or the period we're dealing with is 2021 so that's our most current one so we're going to take the one at the beginning of the period is the one of, of the previous year remember accounts receivable at the end of the previous period is the same as the accounts receivable at the beginning of the period or of this period in other words the accounts receivable at the beginning of 2021 is the same as the accounts receivable at the end of 2020 or at 2020 so let's get that one accounts receivable at the beginning of the period you go to the current assets section of the balance sheet or the statement of financial position and you can see here we have accounts receivable yours might be written trade receivable or debtors which is the same thing so the one at the beginning of the period is the one for the previous year which is 2020 so it's 72,100 rand so we put that as the accounts receivable at the beginning of the period and then we deduct the accounts receivable at the end of the period, which is the one at 2021, which is the 53,200 rand. So we'll put that down and we have all we need to do to get our cash received from customers. And it gives us an answer of 688,900 rand. What is the logic behind this? Well, remember when we make a sale, 670, well, we know that not all of it might be on cash, as I mentioned earlier on. So we take the 670 and we add the accounts receivable that was owed to us at the beginning of the period, which is the 72,100 rand. But now we check, does anyone still owe us at the end of the period? That means we have not received that money. And that is the 53,200 rand. So we have to deduct it because we have not received that one yet as at the end of this financial period period and we will get our answer if our accounts receivable at the end of the period instead of 53,200 was zero then we'd put it as zero there and that means we'd have received all the money from customers from the sales and the one which was owed to us at the beginning of the period i hope it has made sense i hope you now know how to calculate the cash received from customers if you have gained value from this lesson consider subscribing to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers